Okay guys, welcome to another Pop Culture Overload Review, one that I have been anticipating for a while, and I'm so glad I'm able to bring this one to you. These are the Return of Marvel Legends, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, being a big Marvel Legends fan, when they canceled them, nerd rage, nerd rage, but <clears throat> they have brought them back in a big way. We're getting characters that we didn't get before. I'm really happy about it. And I'm going to be reviewing them all this week. So the first one I want to take a look at is the Constrictor. Now this is a guy that he was long overdue. The Constrictor's been around. Let's take a quick look at his packaging. So you can see you get some kind of basic, basic art there. And the see the build of figures, Terax for the series, the Return of Marvel Legends. You see Constrictor, and it tells you you get the upper torso to build Terax, and there's that Marvel Legends. Love it. So glad these have decided to make their way back out. Let's just get this out of the way. Now, I found these at Toys R Us, and I got the whole series just so I can make Terrax and get you guys the review. Go well, the reviews of all of them. So, just really excited about these. But anyway, so let's get to Constrictor. Uh, Constrictor, this is his first incarnation of Marvel Legends, and you can see he's got a pretty wicked head sculpt there. Let's just tilt up a little bit, get that head sculpt in there. Yeah. Kind of looks like he has fangs there. Really cool. Um, there's not much to the costume, but they really nailed it. The stripes, and these aren't just painted. These are actually etched in. These are actually molded plastic on his wrist guards there where the tendrils come out. And on top of his head, this is actually a raised kind of crest here. Just really nice pupil of size, perfect for the constrictor. He's got his trademark tentacles here. Um, one thing about these, they're not bendy. I know a lot of people were thinking these were going to be bendy. They're not. They're made of that very soft plastic that we see, and they're really easy to move about, but as you can see, they spring back into place pretty easy. But it looks good. They're coming out. They look like they're, well, they're, they're a separate piece right here. Where it goes into the gauntlet. It's that nice rubbery plastic. And just, just really a great figure. Um, you can tell he is a reuse of some of the earlier Hasbro Marvel Legends. And this is the one thing that bothers me. If you can pick this up. He has a belt. Uh, Constrictor never really had a belt. You can even see a belt buckle here. But... You know, it's a reuse of parts, yes, but at least they remolded the fists so we could get the nice tendrils in there. And I'm still very happy with this figure. Uh, let's see, he's got... Let's go. First gaff there. Okay. Let's go over some of his points of articulation. Alright. He's got the uh, tilt... On the ankles and a twist. He's got a calf twist, double jointed knees, got the ball jointed hips, waist swivel, an ab crunch with a nice click to it. All of his joints have that nice click that, they, that Hasbro started doing on the uh, Marvel Legends figures. And it's really welcome because it helps them just stabilize their poses better. Got the double jointed elbows, once again, the click. Got the forearm swivel. Now one thing, I don't know if my camera's picking that up, but well, it doesn't look too bad. You can kind of see that this plastic, so you can really kind of see it from here if my camera's picking up. This is a kind of a shinier plastic, whereas this is kind of a duller plastic, and this goes back to kind of the shiny plastic. I'm not sure what they were doing there, but uh, what are you going to do? He's got some uh, shoulder articulation there. Get him out there. And ball jointed arms. Got a bicep swivel. The head is on a ball joint that actually does have a. These heads, they just pop right off. But. Well. Huh. Yeah. Well, this is a little hard to get off. I'm not going to try to get his off. Some of the other figures on the line do. But. Still, this is a really great figure. I was glad to get a Constrictor finally to add to my collection. 
Uh, and there's more coming out from Marvel Legends. It's just really welcome to have this line back. And say so we can expect big things from this year. Series 2 will be coming out. We get a bunch of other figures that we never got. But hey, I'm happy right now. And we'll be reviewing some more of them. But this is the Marvel Legends Return of Marvel Legends Constrictor. Let's get to the next review. I'm Jazz. Talk to you later.